Welcome back to another MLB recap video where I'm going to be going over the best of Thursday's slate. Weston Wilson of the Phillies is going to complete the cycle. We've been seeing an influx of cycles around Major League Baseball recently, and this one comes in the game where the Phillies are absolutely blowing out the Nationals by a score of 11-3. to They're going to win that one. The Mets, in what felt like a must-win game, are going for a series win over the Oakland A's at home. In the bottom of the third, they're going to jump out to a 5 to nothing lead with a two-run single by Luis Torrens, and they've had some bad series losses recently, so this is one they needed, especially with the Braves heating up as of late, and this is what the win probability chart looked like. It just looked like an absolute roller coaster. They had about a 94% chance to win in the bottom of the third when they were up by five, but then J.J. Bolade hit a grand slam to make it a 5-4 to four game. The Mets made it 6-4, but then the A's scored three more unanswered, and they're going to win this one 7-6, so the Mets they're two games behind the Braves for the third wild card spot. And before this series loss at home against the A's, going back a little over a week, they lost a series to the Angels. Then they beat the Rockies two out of three games, but then they got swept by the Mariners, a Mariners team that has really struggled to put up any runs whatsoever. And then they're going to lose a series to the A's. So in a span of two weeks, losing the series to the Angels and A's and just taking two out of three against Colorado is how you can sink your wild card hopes in just a span of two weeks. Gunnar Henderson, he definitely went on a little bit of a home run drought out of the All-Star break when he participated in the home run derby, but now he's going to be making it back-to-back -back nights with homers for Gunnar, and then the lines with winning because that's back-to-back -back wins, wins for the Orioles. Grant McRae is going to hit a homer to make this a 5-0 game, and the Giants needed to win this one. It was a four-game series against the Braves, and like I mentioned, with the Mets losing, the Braves won the first three games of this series. They're going to lose the finale. The Giants are going to salvage a four-game sweep. The Milwaukee Brewers and Dodgers are playing a four-game series. The Dodgers won the first two. The Brewers won yesterday, and then today, they're going to make a comeback. They're going to go up 6-4. Willie Adamas has just been so clutch all year, and Devin Williams the last two nights, what he's been able to do to the middle of this order with guys like Mookie Betts and then Shohei Otani came him to end tonight's game has been incredible. People forget the Brewers were winning, and they didn't have Devin Williams for basically the whole first half of the year. They had Trevor McGill, who's pitching great, but now he's on the IL. But the Brewers just produced these elite, elite back-end relievers. Yesterday, Brian Wu threw a seven-inning gem, and the Mariners would lose the game. Today, it's going to be Bryce Miller throwing seven innings of zero-run ball with nine Ks and zero walks. That's just what this Mariners pitching staff does, but I was talking about their offense. They only scored one run, and in the bottom of the eighth with two outs, that's going to be Andres Munoz. He's an all-star closer, but this pitching staff just has absolutely absolutely no room to breathe, no room for error. That's going to be a go-ahead two-run homer, and the Mariners are seeing their playoff chances slipping with how good the Astros have been playing as of late. Kyle Farmer, this is going to be a little league home run as it hits the perfect place. Leody Tavares just chasing it down. It's going to be a triple and then an error because Tavares struggled to pick it up. The Twins would score off Kirby Yates in the top of the ninth, and they would win this one 3-2 to two to open up that series. Here are the stack castleers of the day. That was the best of Thursday's action.